Good afternoon, Hetz here. Today we're going to be doing a little art project mixed with some math. So I did an example. Okay, that has a bunch of different shapes in it. Today we're going to simplify it by doing just four different shapes. We're going to use circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles. Okay, so what you're going to need for this art project is a piece of white paper, a sharpie of either purple, black, or gray, or some other dark color. I've decided to use purple today. And then you'll need a pencil. You'll also need some crayons. Once you have your materials, okay, you can take your blank paper. And we're going to start with just putting a circle in the middle. So I'm going to draw a circle like that. Okay. Now, like I said, we're using four shapes. So I started with a circle. Now, I'm going to connect a square to it. Each shape that you draw you need to connect to the last shape that you drew. So you can see here I drew a square connected to the circle. After you do that, we're going to do a rectangle. So I've decided to, I'm going to put it down here in this bottom corner. Just like that. Now you remember a square has four equal sides. A rectangle has two equal sides on one side and then two equal sides on the other, but does not have those four equal sides. As you can see, this line is longer than this line and it can go either way, but a square, all four sides are equal. A rectangle has two equal sides on top and two equal sides on the side, but they are not, all four are not equal. Then I'm going to do a triangle. Now remember, a triangle has three sides and three corners. Okay, something like that. Those are the four shapes we're using. You're going to put a total of five of each of those shapes. So I'm going to give you a minute to decide where you want to put five squares, five circles, five rectangles, and five triangles. Remember, they need to be overlapping with the shapes you've already drawn. All right, one, you can see my example here. I have put five rectangles, five triangles, five circles, and five squares. Now, I'm going to take either my marker or my permanent marker, and I am going to trace the circles, just the outside. you are you can see I have traced the five circles now you can really see where those circles are and you can see that there's five of them now I'm going to trace the five triangles you can see my triangles don't all look the same but they all have three sides and three corners making them a triangle Next, I'm going to trace 
the rectangles. Now you can see that I traced the rectangles. What's important to remember about rectangles is that all four sides are not equal. They have an equal length on the top and a separate equal length on the side, but all four are not equal. Next, I'm going to trace the squares. Now you can see that I have all the shapes outlined. The next part you're going to do is color. Now when you're coloring, it's important to remember that if I choose a color for this square, let's say I choose blue, soon as it overlaps with the next color or the next shape, you got to change the color. Let me show you an example. As you can see, I chose blue for my square, but as soon as I hit that purple line where it overlaps with the rectangle, I chose a different color. Okay, so what I want you to do is start with one of each of the shapes and color them. But remember, when they overlap, you need to switch colors. All right, so you can see here I colored the center circle and every time another shape overlapped, meaning it's like laying on top of, I switched the color. So it's important to trace it with a marker so that it's easier to see where those lines are crossing. Okay, I got my square, I got my circle, I got a rectangle, and then I got a triangle up here. Remember, every time it overlaps or lays on top of, and there's that purple or black or whatever dark color you chose to trace them in, every time it goes over another shape, you want to switch colors. I'm going to give you some time to go ahead and finish coloring your shapes. Once you have all of your shapes colored in, and you've made sure that you've switched colors every time the shapes overlap, it'll look something like this. Now, you can either leave it like this or do the optional step of taking the dark marker you chose. So like I said, I used purple, okay? And I'm gonna color in the background, okay, with my marker. So I'll give you a moment if you would like to do this optional step and I'll show you what it looks like when it is finished. All right, now you can see what it looks like when you color in the background with a dark colored marker. I hope you enjoyed this art video. Send me some pictures of what you created. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye-bye.